me a demon, we send him the same. Copy my flow, he copy my cadence. I'm in the stool right now and I'm fading. I was good, job boys. So as you can tell, we're in a different, you know, scenery, change of scenery, you know what I'm saying? We in the brand new 2023 Mercedes GLE. No, I'm lying. <laughs> really, nigga? The nah, hell no, nah, I wish. God, that's my dream car, GLE. The, uh, the SUV version, I think it was called. But anyways, welcome back to episode 24 of the comeback series. Today's going to be a little bit of a different video. I mean, well, not really. I'm still going to be in the gym, but I'm going to go through my full mobility routine, what I do on Sundays at the gym for y'all. Now, I know everyone has different goals. They do different shit, whatever. Some people don't really prioritize this, but this is, for me is like just a personal thing. Cause again, I want to be able to do this long term. I want to be able to take care of my joints, take care of my body overall. So I've been incorporating this every Sunday for the last like five, six months now. Now what I do is I start off with cardio because if I go in there, do my mobility stretch and then do cardio last, it kind of defeats the purpose in a sense because after the cardio, I'm going to be sore. I have to stretch again. You know what I mean? So the first thing I do when I get in there is do my cardio. I'll probably do Stairmaster anywhere from like 15 to 25 minutes just all depends um, Today I'll probably go a little bit less cuz I did quads yesterday and I went fucking bananas on hack squat nigga I did six plates six plates for I think six to eight reps that shit was crazy So my shit is fried right now, but hey speaking of legs peep the season two Merch clothing from my brand VPC you see it you see it Wait till y'all see the shirts that matches with it. It's gonna be crazy. I got my green lightning shorts too yesterday, which I wore to the gym. That outfit was crazy. I'll put it right here. Oh my God. But nah, so the main reason why I'm in this car and not uh, my car over there, it's my mom's car. Look, bro. So when I go to Crunch, right, I usually park in the back. This is all my fault. I usually park in the back. There's big ass trees that hover over my car and every single fucking time I get into the car after my workout, especially at nighttime. It's always a spider in that shit, bro. I hate bugs, bro. I don't care how big I get, how muscular and scary I look. Nigga, I will always be afraid of bugs and spiders. Especially spiders. A cockroach, and eh, whatever. I just kill it with a shoe. But a spider? My nigga, what am I supposed to do if a spider is in my car? So I'm leaving the gym the other day. And, you know, I'm getting ready. I'm in my car like this about to leave. And I'm starting to reverse. And all I see in the corner of my damn eye is a spider crawling down. Not crawling. Hanging from a web right here, my nigga, right next to me. Hell no. Nah. I haven't been in that car in like three days, dog. So I think that was Friday night. And today is Sunday, so yeah, like two days. But nah, it was hanging. Nigga, I stopped the car quick as hell. I was stranded in the gym parking lot for like 30 minutes. I didn't know what to do, bro. When I see spiders, I literally, like, it's my worst fear. Except for like heights and over baked lasagna. It's my worst fear, bro. Like, I hate spiders, dog. So, yeah, I literally been driving my mom's car for, like, the last two days. Thank God, you know, she's not using it because I'm not getting in that car. I, is there any type of, like, like smoke bomb or anything that I can put in the damn car for the spider to kill? Because I'm thinking about just putting a fucking flash grenade or, or, or a bomb in that bitch because I don't want to touch that car no more, bro. But anyways, anyway, so, yeah, today we're going to just uh, hit the gym. I'm about to leave right now. I already got my pre-workout down. I would take a Rice Krispie treat, but I'm not really going in there for, like, high-intensity exercise. So I don't really need all that, and I can use those calories for something else later when I'm home and hungry, whatever. But yeah, we're gonna head out right now. The first thing I'll start with is my cardio, like I said, and then this is just a very basic uh, mobility routine. I like to tend, I tend to focus on, um, uh, I tend to focus on my knee joint, my rotator cuff, my ankles especially, because for me personally, my ankles are like really bad. Um, and then I also do my um, lower back, and then after just a couple movements of that. Um, I'll do like a full body stretch. I'll hold each position for anywhere from like 20 to 40 seconds. Um, I know I was watching a David Goggins podcast and he says he used to stretch every single night for I think he said two to five hours. Nigga, what are you stretching? That takes five hours. Are you stretching your fucking dick? But now I see why though. That nigga crazy. I heard he ran like eight marathons back to back to that. Yeah, no, hell, no, I ain't doing that. I, nigga, I can barely do Stairmaster. The fuck? But enough talking. We gonna head out right now, and I'll get back to y'all boys after the workout. Um, but yeah, this is just my mobility routine. It's a reset for the week, keep my joints healthy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, there's a lot, a lot of things that you can do specifically for each joint, especially if a certain injury, you know, physical therapy. I'm not a physical therapist. Like I said, this is just a basic, basic mobility routine just to keep my joints healthy, whatever. 
So let's get into this and I'll catch up boys afterwards. But peep the fit though. Got the hat, got the hoodie. It was about, I'm about to be sweating in that bitch. Got the BPC on these shorts. And then of course we got the Prestos, which I kind of fucking ruined them at the club the other day, but we gonna wash them. But enough talking, I'll meet y'all boys afterwards. Let's get into this. Good job, boys. So we just touched back down at home. Um, that felt really good, you know? Um, I really like having those little mobility days, little reset days, I guess you could say, for the week. Um, like I said, I just did some basic stuff. I think I started off with the Jefferson curls, just strengthening the lower back through uh, flexion. And then I moved on to the, um, the kettlebell hip flexor raises, strengthening my hip flexors. And I know for my track runners or my athletes out there, that can really help with your speed, too. You know, I heard it from Tyreek Hill too. He says really working your hip flexors and all that. And then I did some uh, cable rotations just for my rotator cuff. Um, those have helped me personally a lot uh, with my shoulder pain. But I say this with every, I say this with everybody. I feel like with joint pain and shoulder pain especially, I feel like you really gotta prioritize form. Like it sounds simple and it is. Like what I used to do is, you know, I would go really fast. And that extra momentum bounce at the bottom of the rep is what would cause that shoulder pain and would cause like the, you know, the, the, the hurtness or whatever. Well, I don't even know. Is that a fucking word, hurtness? But that's what would cause that, you know, initial pain is that extra, you know, fucking big bounce at the bottom. So ever since I go slow, pause, and then go up on my movements with everything I do now, I have had no joint pain, no stiffness, like, like any of that shit. I've had none of that. So I feel like that helps a lot with the pain and everything. So I would try that out. You know, obviously it is a big change of training, especially if you're one of those people who used to go fast like me. And um, I know there's a couple studies done that show that slower tempo is actually better for hypertrophy too, but I'm not sure if that's all correct and everything, so you probably gotta look into that shit yourself. But yeah, just another thing too with preventing injuries and all that, like most of the time it is ego too. Like a lot of these people go in there and 
they just throw on some weight or they try to go as heavy as possible to show off and that's how you end up getting injured or you know you're going close to failure and those last couple reps start to get sloppy and you tend to push yourself past that and then boom you get injured so really just prioritize form and in form you know stay tight throughout the whole movement even those last reps try to stay as tight as possible so you don't get injured all that stuff but it's just a simple shit that you know happens to everybody you know i went through it probably your friends went through it you know all that shit so just be smart when you train but yeah anyway so then after the um after the shoulder shit i believe i did a little bit of uh ankle work with that kettlebell too and then i moved on to the um the backward sleds um i know there's a knee movement that i usually do where you stand on one plate and you kind of do like a half rep with your knee um i don't know exactly what those are called but i don't know if i just do them wrong or what but for me personally they don't really like help me all that much so i tend to stay away from them i just do the backward sleds and i even do those before like a leg day and my knees feel perfect bro so definitely try those out uh, before your leg day if you got knee pain so but then we just finish it off with a full body stretching routine i hold each position i did for like 20 to 30 seconds um what really felt good was the kettlebell uh squat holds i did like three sets of like 30 to 40 seconds those felt really good really helped open up my hips and better my squat form so yeah now we're here now we're chilling but now we're ready for the week ready to kill shit get into some high intensity training you know pushing myself more than ever um, I am still cutting. I'm starting to, you know, really look shredded, but I still want to keep going. I want to see what, you know, my body is really capable of looking like because I haven't been super shredded in like a year and a half, two years now. So I'm trying to see what I look like now because I know I put on a lot of muscle mass since then. But I'll see y'all boys next episode. Stay tuned. I got some shit coming next episode. Just wait. Just wait. Stay tuned. I'm out of here. I got old cash, goddamn, it's the gold man, it's the gold man, fair eggs, what a pole at, we don't show that.